Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Now, it's been a very tough week for a lot of people within the tech industry. If you're not aware that Amazon announced one of the largest layoffs it has ever done within the history of the company. And as someone who works in AWS, you know, it hit a lot closer to home. Many, many like very, very experienced, very, very competent people I saw posting on LinkedIn. And, you know, it's not just Amazon. Uh, across the board, layoffs have become a, like a part and parcel of the tech industry. It's become very, very worrying for a lot of people. So what I did was in today's video, I just want to talk about like if you have been impacted in the industry, you know, for cybersecurity layoffs, or how you should bounce back from it, you know, just some good advice which I have given to people a lot of times over the years. And it's always good to recap. Last week, I talked about the entry-level cybersecurity positions. But today, I want to talk to those people who are in the industry, but they might have, you know, gotten impacted by layoffs in one way or the other. And I really want you to see how you can position layoffs, you know. Like if you have been impacted by layoffs, it might not be like, it's not the end of your career. And now this, how it, this is how it seems. But it can be a reset button, which you simply weren't ready for, you weren't planning for it but it's like a reset of your career and what you can do about it so before we start if you're new to the channel uh, please do like and subscribe to this channel share this video if you found it useful share it to anybody uh, you feel might benefit from the tips that i'm giving so first of all i want you to understand the cyber security teams are not immune to layoffs right that is the part and parcel of the industry especially nowadays your position cyber security is very very critical in the industry but that does not mean your position is like immune from layoffs people can always outsource your position people can always hand it over to a managed service provider they can combine your roles they can reshuffle so always you have to understand that risk is there but here's the truth that a layoff does not define you you know what happens is what action you take specifically what action you take in the next 90 days so this is what this is basically a roadmap to help you bounce back like you know stronger mentally professionally and strategically after a cyber security layoff because definitely it's not like it's nobody's idea of a fun time right we've seen that uh, we recently this week we had the amazon layoffs we also have like industry giants like crowd strikes it has become a part and parcel of the industry no matter how much we try to deny it unfortunately so step one is you know uh, reframe uh, what just happened so before you update your resume or scroll linkedin and you know stop and breathe layer do not think that reflects on you as a person because 90 percent of the time it's not about your performance it's about priorities the company has simply decided to focus cut costs reshuffle whatever the reason you know automation mergers budget shifts and cyber security is also changing very very fast you know ai is like i've talked many many times before ai is automating uh, l1 sock and as well compliance is moving away from excel spreadsheets to becoming like grc engineering and code companies want fewer people who can just operate tools and more people who are thinking in terms of systems right so don't ask you know like why me that's why the, a lot of people, unfortunately, and I know it's very natural to think like this. Why me? Why did this happen to me? Like, I don't, I'm not good enough or something. Just think about this. Like, what does this tell me where the industry is going? And how do I realign with it? That That is the question you should be asking. Okay, what does this tell you about where the industry is going? If you read the reports from the World Economic Forum, I'll put the link for this also below. But, you know, it's an excellent report. It, it, it talks about how AI is not just a revolution, but it's like a new age. You know, now farmers are using AI. Uh, across the board, industrial plants are using AI. It's become like a part and parcel of the life that we are living in. So it's no longer just about automation. It is about a change in the way we used to do stuff. So I would definitely recommend reading this uh, like a article from the World Economic Forum and seeing how the world is reshifting around us. So reframe what just happened. Understand that, okay, this is where the industry is going. What do I need to do? And then the next step is I want you to very honestly, oh, sorry, very honestly audit your skills, you know. Some skills age faster than others. Uh, grab a notebook and, you know, divide your skills into two lists because this is quite critical. You have to be honest with yourself. I am I am 45 years old, right? I know for a fact that I cannot compete with people who are like 20 years younger than me when it comes to energy, you know, when it comes to like dedication and all that. This happens as you get older, right? But that does not mean that your skills are useless. Uh, you have to know what your strengths are. So first of all, I want you to grab a notebook, divide your skills into two lists. One are the tools that you know, you know, the tools, which is 
uh, Splunk, uh, Qualys, Nessus, you, you know, Sentinel, whatever. This list tells you your technical comfort zone. And if your daily job revolved around, you know, clicking dashboards, updating spreadsheets, running predefined playbooks, those are the first things that AI and scripts can absorb and automate. This is your comfort zone. You have to get out of it. So these are the tools that you know. And the second one is, the second list is the systems that you understand, the concepts, you know, IAM models, risk management, incident response processes, compliance framework. This list is where you can adapt. You can simply adapt it to a new growth area. So if you know IAM models, you know, you can think about cloud security and architecture. If you know compliance frameworks, you can map it to GRC engineering. These are all the areas which are growing. You know, if you're in penetration testing, then something like AI and machine learning security, uh, you know, risk quantification. These are all the areas you can align that these are growing. I talk about it multiple times on my channel, which are the areas which are going to take off and you know which are not going to get replaced anytime soon so this this is what i want you to honestly do tools that you know that is your technical comfort zone and the systems and the concepts that you understand these are the areas which you can map to a growth area so that is the, your step two now now after this step three is building a 90-day rebuild plan okay you can keep on applying keep on applying for jobs uh, update your uh, LinkedIn profile with open to work, reach out to people. Please keep on doing that. I'm not telling you to stop it. But at the same time, I want you to do these things from day one to day 30, which is first of all, decompressing, which is, you know, like relax, you know, watch some movie, play some video games for like a day or something and then get back to work. Treat your job search like a project, you know, set daily goals. I will reach out to X amount of people every day, X amount of like jobs and do a weekly review of what is working, what is not working. Update your CV, focus on impact, not the tasks. Don't tell, don't give a job description. People can tell your job description from your job title, tell the impact, reduce false positives by 60% instead of monitoring SIEM logs, right? And please check my videos out. I talk about how to update your CV, how to update your LinkedIn, you know, use your headline strategically, use your banner, all of those things I've talked about multiple times on my channel. Start documenting your past projects as case studies. So these become proof when you interview later, have a, you have a documented list you can refer to and quickly, you know, uh, Revise it before a major interview. So this is like resetting and reflecting while you're applying for jobs and everything. Now, the day 30 to day 60 is rebuilding and relearning. So this is your retooling window. This is where you want to pick one new skill that positions you where the industry is moving. By the way, I've kept it 90 days. Some people can do it in 60 days. Some people I know they do it in 30 days, all of these things. So I've just kept it 90 days to keep it balanced with your other activities also, you know. So day 30 to day 60 is where you pick one new skill that positions you with the, for those growth areas, you know, AI security, red teaming, GRC engineering, AI threat modeling, NIST AI risk management framework. Do not spend massive amounts of money in this phase. I've seen a lot of people, they get all excited. They invest thousands and thousands of dollars, which they might need because they don't have a payroll coming in. Please do not spend $5,000 use something free labs udemy courses all of those things are very cheaply available open source frameworks then show your learning publicly do not waste money here at this phase money which you might need later on to pay your bills while you're looking for a job okay then what you want to do is you want to show your learning publicly you know like hey i've uh, uh, built my first aws config rule that enforces encryption you know GS engineering this this will tell people that you're not waiting to recover you're already rebuilding Okay, so this is your rebuilding and the relearning phase. And the next thing is now you're repositioning and relaunching with a new profile, with a new set of skill sets, translating your skills into opportunity, targeting roles that, that align with automation, AI risk, cloud governance, GRC engineering, you know, titles to look for cloud security engineering, GRC automation analyst. And I've said this many, many times before. Always try to find those small startups, AI startups, which are just kicking off. They have much leaner teams and they are much more open to hiring people than those big companies, which might take like six months to hire and onboard people. Reach out to them directly. Don't reach out to the HR manager, reach out to the CEO, the CTO, those sort of people who can like make decisions quickly. And at the same time, you can also start freelancing. 
you can reach out to like uh, com freelancing platforms like Upwork, Fiverr, you know, uh, reach out to them, offer to the, like help them do something like these startups. So, I mean, honestly, the world is open to you. You can go, you can use LinkedIn to find these AI startups and offer to do a review for free so they can see your skill set. All of these things will rebuild your credibility and can lead to a next full time role. OK, and very very important during this whole time now i want you to embrace the portfolio not the position mindset they remember the job industry has become extremely competitive so they are not hiring a job title they are hiring proof of competence they want you to come in and show that you know what you are doing so treat your career like a portfolio right you show things like your github scripts that you must have must have then or your blog post uh, documenting ISO on this controls case studies on LinkedIn you know the more visible the value is the faster you will bounce back as hiring managers are tightening budgets they don't want risk now they want clarity they want to know that this person knows what he's talking about and nothing will give them more comfort than seeing that you have this ability so for example I'll give you one example I like I have this guide on how to become a top voice on LinkedIn, right? You can uh, use this. It's completely free. You don't have to pay me a penny. I'll put the link below also. So you can use that to try and, you know, become like better at LinkedIn posts. Show how you can do it. Do not just copy paste posts from ChatGPT. That's AI slop, which everybody is doing. And your posts will get, you know, ignored by most people. Those posts which have like 100 emojis and smiling faces and rockets and all that no, no everybody can tell that's just generated by ai so please do something like this like like i said blog posts linkedin posts case studies github scripts whatever is comfortable to you and so i want you to understand that you know a layoff does not determine your identity it just cuts your income income it becomes very stressful i know many cyber security professionals they you know they tie their worth to their title or company but remember you're part of an industry that is always evolving You've already survived like, you know, new tools, new exploits, new frameworks. So this is just another version of that challenge that it's you, your job title that is being architected. So redesign it purpose. Don't think of it as you've been laid off. Think of it as that you are in transition. You just need to build up your skills, build up what your area of expertise is, and then show that value publicly as much as possible while you're doing your uh, job search. So I hope this was useful to you. I sincerely hope if you're in the path of a layoff or something like that, you bounce back as quickly as possible. Good luck to you. Do like and subscribe to this channel. Check out my academy, which I've also launched where I'm populating. I'm, I'm going to try and populate a new course literally every month to help people out as much as possible, to give them the skills that they need uh for you know surviving in this very tough job market thank you very much and i'll see you in the next video